Welcome to our clubhouse Now you're on your way You'll have so much fun here While you learn today Welcome to our clubhouse Hello there It wouldn't be the same here without you Say hiya, Maddie. <laughs> Raise your hand if you've ever had a no good, terrible, really bad week. Yeah? Uh-huh. Well, last week, that's the kind of time I was having. First, I forgot to bring my snack to school. Oh, no. Then, my dog Bingo got loose when I accidentally left the back door open. Bingo! Bingo, where are you? And then, I lost my favorite stuffed animal at the park. So last night, I was thinking about my week, and I realized it wasn't such a no good, terrible, really bad week after all, because my friends were there to help me. First, my friend Maria shared her snack with me. Thank you. And my friend Levi gave me a big hug and he let me sleep on one of his favorite stuffed animals. Thank you so much. Then, my neighbor helped me find Bingo. My friends helped make my bad week better, so that's why I've decided to throw them a friendship day party. Ho, ho. Did you hear that? It's Ollie. Hello, Maddie. Ho, ho. You sure look excited about something. Yes, you do. Hi, Ollie. I am excited. I'm planning a friendship day party for all of my friends. Friends are very important. It's true. And I have a story about friendship to share with you. It's a story from the Bible. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Ho. Stormy Jane! Stormy Jane, where are you, girl? I have a treat for you! Oh, there you are. Silly dog, there you go. And I see you brought Goldie with you, too. I should have known. Goldie, I bet you want a treat, too, don't you? Okay, here you go. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her best friend, Goldie. They do everything together. Wherever Stormy goes, Goldie goes, too. See what I mean? They play together. <laughs> they share toys. They even eat treats together. One more. <laughs> they are such good friends, which reminds me of some good friends in the Bible. You want me to tell you about them? If you do, bark like a dog. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so the friends in the Bible were named David and Jonathan. D is for David and J is for Jonathan. Now Jonathan was the son of the king, King Saul, and David worked for him. But when David wasn't working, he and Jonathan would hang out together. They would have the best time laughing and eating together. When Jonathan would tell David a secret, he knew David wouldn't tell. They were each other's favorite person. Jonathan even gave David the rope off his back and his sword and his bow and his belt. They were really good friends. They both wanted to honor God and God had given them each other. And you know what? God gives us good friends too. Think about it. Do you have someone you like to play with? You do? Well, do they make you laugh? Like, ha 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 ha. They do. Do you share with them and do they make you happy? They do? Well, then God has given you a good friend too. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who gives you good friends? God gives me good friends. Yes, it's true. Now I want to hear it from you. Tell me, who 
gives you good friends? God gives me good friends. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God gives us good friends for you, and for you, and you, and you, and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Ollie's right. Just like David and Jonathan, God has given you and me good friends. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Well, I'd better start getting ready for the friendship day party I'm planning for my good friends. I think I'll get Brooklyn to help. See you soon!